Welcome to the first Watch Bujo, and today I'm starting off this new series by counting down my current bullet journal favorites from the last few months. Do you love bullet journal content? Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when the new video goes live. Number five, Dollar General Metallic Markers. These make the list because they are quite a bit of bang for not a lot of bucks. Clocking in at just $3 for eight metallic felt markers, these markers show up great on white, craft, black paper, and really any color in between. They're great for shiny monoline lettering and for filling in larger areas without too much extra hassle. Did I mention they were $3, y'all? I couldn't find a link for these, but they are worth the trip if you have a Dollar General near you. Number four, Iris Drawing Compass. Circles, a basic shape, right? But it certainly is a struggle to get them equally round. This is where the Iris Compass Tool comes in. It's made of solid machine brass and carefully selected stainless steel. It's a beauty to look at and even packs more function than what meets the eye. You can measure and draw any circle from two millimeters all the way to seven millimeters by simply turning the wheel and drawing it right in. The stand is functional as well. You can use it to find the center of something before drawing a circle around it. The price tag on this one is pretty hefty, coming in at $125, but there are a few dupes out there and I'll link those below as well, but I can't vouch for the quality on those. Use the iris for habit trackers and all things round. Number three, Cricut Fine Liners. You don't need a Cricut machine to reap the benefits of this 30 set of Cricut Fine Liners. These water-based fine liners have 0.4 tips and the barrel of these pens are sturdy and comfortable to the touch. They make the list of favorites mostly because of the wide color range and they've been a staple in my recent setups where I've been trading the traditional black fine liners for gorgeous colors such as wine, moccasin, and blue bonnet. These clock in at just over $20 at the time of filming. Number two, Zebra Click Art Pens. If dealing with caps just isn't your thing, or if you need a reliable pen that gets it all done from large headers to a color-coded task list, look no further. The Zebra Click Art pens click into play with a new ink technology that keeps the ink moist even without that silly pen cap. There's even an indicator that turns from black to red when the pen is retracted. They have a wide and diverse color range and glide beautifully across the page. I've used them for headers, grids and trackers, and even regular old note taking. Before I let you guys in on the number one pick, here are a couple honorable mentions. Number one, Archer and Olive dot grid notepads. Versatile, flexible, and perforated pages, the Archer and Olive 160 GSM notepads take the top spot. With the life that is bullet journaling, mistakes are bound to happen, and luckily that doesn't mean you're doomed to look at the unfixable. Whether you need to cover up a whole page, test out some pens, paints, or doodles, or just add some colorful flair to your spread, these notepads are the perfect companion to my bullet journal. They could even be used as a desk planner to have your daily to-dos at a quick glance. They come in white, craft, black, and all three in one, and have become a star player in my bullet journal arsenal. So there you have it. What are your top five bullet journal supplies? Let me know down in the comments and be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified of the next Watch Bujo Top 5 Countdown. Thanks for watching guys. And if you like this video, here are a couple more I think you would enjoy.